it out, Salem. What do you think? Will I kill at the Ghostathon or what? You don't want to know what I think. Yes, I do. Okay. I think you should finish your term paper. Okay, okay, I promise. Just as soon as I pick the right costume. That's weird. See? You don't like this costume. No, no, that's Sneeze. I've heard it before. It's just dust from that dumb old book. Not surprising, you haven't touched it for days. So, what do you think? <laughs> That's it! Really? You don't think it's too sappy? The sneeze. It was in Paris, late 14th century. <laughs> The cherubs were just being added to the Notre Dame Cathedral. Hello! Notre Dame has gargoyles, not cherubs. Exactamundo. The witches who were supposed to cast spells to help spread the weight load caught a nasty flu from some of the workmen. <gasps> so with them laid up in bed, no spells were cast. And the cherubs turned into gargoyles. So, what you're saying is, you think I have this gross gargoyle flu thing? <laughs> well, wrong o. I'm telling you, it's just a little dust. It might. Nose! Sabrina, honey, are you okay? Sorry, just some dust in my. We'll see about that. But Aunt Zel... Into bed, young lady. But the ghost thons tomorrow night, and I haven't even figured out what I'm going to wear yet. I'm sorry, dear. If this fever keeps up, you're not going anywhere. Really, I'll stay in bed all day tomorrow, I promise. Me, me, me. Is that all you care about? The gargoyle flu is extremely contagious and dangerous to witches and warlocks. Can I get you anything, dear? Well, no, it's too much work. Nonsense, whatever you want. Figwort and bog grass soup? Of course you can. Anything to make you feel better. Take some time, though. A hundred ingredients, you know. Not taking this too seriously, are we? I feel fine. I just have this dumb sneeze, that's all. There's plenty more where that came from. So, Spill, what magic formula can I take to stop sneezing? <laughs> No. I know you think this cold is stupid, but it doesn't affect every witch the same. <sighs> All right. But I really can't believe it's as bad as you say. <sighs> well, good night. <sighs> I feel so cheap, so weak. What's the harm? One little bite. Mm, Nova Scotian, sumptuous. for a little catnap. Nothing like a little sleeping potion, Salmon.
flu be gone, uh, sneeze freeze, schnoz pause, stops all flu and cold symptoms. That's the one. Hilda ever cleaned up after herself? Ugh, intolerable. This time she's doing it herself. Sorry about this, Salem, but I got this cold thing covered. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Here you go, Sabrina. Oh. Sleeping. That's good. Our last, but certainly not least, homeless ghost, witch or warlock, Rupert Quiver. <laughs> Rupert put in two distinguished centuries in room 313 at the dreadful boar hunting lodge on the English moors only to have his home bulldozed and replaced by the sunny side up tanning salon. Boo! Let's find him a whore guy. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't the Rupert deserve a new home? This dilapidated little gem has creaky floors and an attic full of bats. It's positively crying out to be haunted. Who will make the first bid? Five hundred! And Hilda. Well, hello there. Who have we here? <laughs> I'm a Leo. <laughs> Excuse me. I love this song. It's so retro. Like I dig it too. That's nice. Now go away. On second thought, let's dance. Ow! Ow! Hey, Leo, can you try and dance on the floor, not on my foot? Sweet. Let's boogie the night away. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea. Come on! You don't want to poop this party, do you? Hey, sleepyhead. I did sleep rather deeply. Good morning, honey. How are you feeling? Great. See, no more cold. No way. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Hey! <gasps> Your new sweater! <laughs> Jeez, Cassandra, I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> oh, don't sweat it, Sabrina. <laughs> my term paper? Would you believe, uh, my blow dryer blew out my cell phone, which blew out my organizer, which blew out my hard drive? <laughs> Good one, Sabrina. Huh? You put a sleeping potion spell on that salmon, didn't you? Then you snuck off to the ghost-a-thon. <laughs> Cats, where'd you get such a crazy idea? <laughs> there. I don't get it. What's so funny? Nothing. In witch folk, that's the first symptom of the gargoyle flu. But... Yes? I took a cold potion and... Oh, if that goblin I was dancing with wasn't so clumsy. You sneezed and spread the germs. <laughs> so they giggle. And Cassandra, it's actually an improvement. That's just the first phase. The other phases aren't as harmless. Hey, why aren't you giggling? Since I was turned into a cat, witch illnesses don't affect me much. Which means you can go to the netherworld with me to find a cure. Looks pretty normal to me. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, don't hurt me. Okay, okay, calm down. Don't you have a new house to haunt? It's infested with bats and spiders, and the lights flicker, and the floors creak. Sounds dreamy. I mean, for a ghost. Second phase of the gargoyle flu. They go from unexplainable giggles to complete terror. No, oh, stop it! Stop blinking! Huh? Your eyelashes! They're frightening me! Yeah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I'm gonna eat you! Yeah! Third phase of the illness. Unbelievable rage. Yeah! Yeah! Run! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 Follow me! <laughs> what happened? <clears throat> Stage four of the gargoyle flu. Oh, crud. What do we do now? If we don't find a cure fast, they'll stay that way, along with the rest of the netherworld. Salem, it's all my fault. What can we do? You finished Zelda's soup? How can you be hungry at a time like this? I'm not. I'm merely observing that you drank that soup and you haven't sneezed since. Have you? No, I feel fine. As a half-witch, I think you'd have a few symptoms by now. Do you think Aunt Zelda's soup cured me? Could be. If we isolated the right ingredients, then concentrated it to full witch strength, maybe we'd have a cure. Hi, Aunt Hilda. Is Aunt Zelda around? Ha! Her laziness? Ha! I don't believe her! I have to do all of this shopping! Oh, you want me to clean that too? Give it! <laughs> Zelda? Hello down there! <laughs> Aunt Zelda?
Zelda, can you tell me what was in that soup you made me? <laughs> you expect me <laughs> to remember all those ingredients? <laughs> Do you realize how many ingredients are in that stupid soup? Do you? Phase three, Zelda style. What happened to phase two? Well, how dare you shout at her, you lazy lollygagger! You're calling me lazy? I sure am! What do you want to do about it? Whoa! Hilda! Okay, Sabrina, dear. Look out! I couldn't agree more. Thanks. Problemo is, how are we going to find that cure without Zelda to tell us? Experiment! give up. We've tried everything. Maybe it wasn't just the broth that cured you. You said something about cold medicine? Right! Schnoz paws! Concentrate this healing brew so it will cure the gargoyle flu. This kitchen, it's cataclysmic. I can't believe this mess. Ugh. <clears throat> Sabrina? It was all my fault. I never should have risked everyone's health just so I could go to a party. Oh, well, dear. We all make mistakes. Something to ponder while you spend the next month washing our dishes. The next month? Well, before you get dishpan hands, You've got a lot of work to do in the netherworld. Took all night, but here it is, Miss McGrew. Ah! <laughs> Payback for the latte bath. Hey, Brina, you okay? Sure, things are definitely back to normal.
Yeah.